Chiatti, head of Joshi Advocates. Thank you very much for joining us in this YouTube video, free Home Office British nationality application by registration, uh, relevant to uh, children under the age of 18. So for instance, say an MN1 application or Form T. In the next five minutes, we'll see uh, what the application is, uh, what the policy is behind it, and what documents uh, are required. So one, uh, say a person is uh, making a British nationality application for their child uh, under the age of 18, MN1 or Form T, but uh, they don't have sufficient funds uh, to pay the Home Office application fee. For instance, the MN1 is £1,012 plus the biometric appointment. Uh, so the Home Office policy uh, for fee waiver, so that's the application the person would make first, saying fee waiver for British nationality uh, by registration for a child. And when that application has been successful, then the person would apply for that child's British nationality by re registration. So the application is fee waiver for British nationality by registration for a child under the age of 18. Now, the fee waiver policy is more or less the same as when one would apply for a fee waiver in respect of a visa application. A home Office essentially wants to know uh, what the income is, uh, what the expense is, uh, and supporting bank account statements, uh, pay slips. Now, uh, let's look at a few situations uh, so you understand. Uh, for instance, let's say there is a parent in the UK or parents, uh, and uh, they've been illegally living in the UK, and their child was born in the UK and has lived the first 10 years of their life in the UK, and that child is under the age of 18 when they make this application for British nationality by reg registration. Now, because the parents are uh, unlawfully living in the UK, most likely they don't have bank account statements because they are not allowed to live and work in the UK. So they would apply saying, look, we're not allowed to live and work in the UK, we haven't got a bank, any bank account, uh, and there's no money. Home Office will give a fee waiver for that, and the, then the child would make the British nationality application by registration and not pay the Home Office fee. A second situation would be, for instance, let's say the parent or parents are uh, living in the UK lawfully, uh, they're British settled or limited leave to remain, whatever their status is, and they are uh, working so many jobs or one or two or whatever number of jobs, and the money coming in is being spent out on uh, rent, bills, etc. Uh, so the Home Office would see the pay slips, bank account statements from all bank accounts. So please disclose all bank accounts on the application because if you don't, then the Home Office will do a check and say, ah, oh, there's a bank account under this uh, name at this bank, could you give us that? So that would just delay the application process, disclose all bank accounts and give bank account statements for every single bank account for everyone living in the member of, in the household that the child is living in, so for both parents or um, whoever is living with the child uh, for six to 12 months from all bank accounts and give pay slips and then explain that the rent is this much, tenancy agreement, bills are this much, utility bills, and, and so on. And then let's look at another situation where there are parents or parents and they are reliant on public funds. So again, all the money coming in is being spent out. Uh, again, give bank account statements from all bank accounts. Even if you are not using that bank account, still give it to show that, look, I have this bank account, but it's not being used, but here it is for the last six to 12 months and there are no transactions, right? So Home Office knows. Rather than you thinking, because I don't use it I and there's no money in there, I should not show it. Um, no, the Home Office will just come back and say, give us this bank account. Uh, and then that would again delay the process. So those are the documentary uh, requirements and uh, the policy as to how the Home Office assesses fee waiver, uh, looking at the domestic circumstances financially for uh, people living with a child uh, in that household. I also want to touch on uh, the point that the fee waiver application does not determine the British nationality application by registration for the child. The fee waiver is only to assess financially whether the child should be given the fee waiver on the British nationality application that will follow. So if you've been given a fee waiver, then you would uh, get a code on a decision, uh, and then you would make the British nationality application within 10 working days of uh, that letter, and provide documentary evidence for British nationality application by registration for that child. So I hope it addressed everything. I have put the policy in the description box below, so have a look. Uh, and if I can assist you further, as always, contact details below, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Take care.